For more Magic the Gathering resources, check out my friends at paperchampion.net and Kitchen Table MTG. Alright, so I just had a few minutes of time and so I decided to play a match. Um, this is actually pretty good, except it's a one-lander. Hmm, do I risk it? Ah, what the heck. Let's keep. So we'll just keep the one-lander. Hopefully we'll pick up another land. Opponent went down to six. So maybe you get lucky. All right. So opponent's playing a swamp. Swamp despise. <laughs> All right, I have no creatures. <laughs> so he whiffs on despise. No creatures, no planeswalkers. All right, so that works out well for me there. Come on, land. Yes. All right. So let's go windswept teeth and pass the turn. All right. So next turn I'll crack on my opponent's turn. I'll crack windswept teeth, pick up. Uh, oh, my opponent's got nothing. All right. So we'll play cinder bleed. Okay. Next turn mountain tap and tap for liquid metal cooling or coating that sounds like an actually an awesome product liquid metal, metal coolant um i'm not sure what i would put in my put that in or whatever but okay well opponents doesn't really have anything but okay well let's take him off his one land then so ancient grudges land <laughs> Oh, I feel bad. You got oh, and that's it. Okay. So okay, they probably have something in their sideboard, and I think that they probably were just like me and uh, just kept a one lander. Like, uh, that's a tough one. I have no idea what my opponent's playing, uh, except that it's black. Um, yeah, I got no idea. So let's just run it back, I guess. Okay, so, like, I guess I have to see more of what my opponent's playing in order to sideboard properly against them. Hopefully, like, I don't know, if you just get a one lander, then really, what can you do? You know, and then I just blow up your one land, and, you know, then, you know, you put another land. Like, basically, as soon as you put in another land, I'm just going to blow that up, too. And then, you know, with the deck I, I, with the hand I had, he knew I could eventually put out another liquid metal uh, coating and then start blowing up, you know, multiple things. And he didn't have the right type of hate. Like, Black actually has, like, no artifact hate at all. Or no artifact or enchantment hate. So, I think he might have a hard time. Let's see. Okay, so... I've got the Isochron. But I've got nothing else. Well, hmm, do I risk it? That's a tough one. I've got, like, everything else pretty good. Oh, let's keep it. At least find out what our opponent's playing here. Okay, and actually, if I Isochron Tell Jalad Justice, um, I might be able to start scrying if he starts playing any artifacts. Okay, so. Okay, so Forest. I'll go into a Windswept Heath. Go. I just hope that I don't have to end up <laughs> discarding everything I have here. Uh, Alright, so pass. On my opponent's turn, I'll crack this and get another Cinderglade. Okay, so Mutavault. All right. Brain Maggot. So we're going to reveal your hand. You non-land card from it. Okay. He'll probably choose Isochron Scepter. That's what I would choose. All right. So... Okay, so he's going to look at my hand. Okay, so he gets basically anything except for the Mountain. Is he playing a form of discard, like an 8-rack type deck? I don't know. Um, could be something like that, I guess. Okay, Isochron Scepter, and let's see. Yeah, Exile until it leaves the battlefield. Okay. I can. Uh, the funny thing is I can eventually get that back. Alright, so... Alright, let's go... Oh, in fact... I can actually get it back right away because I can. This is an enchantment creature. 
All right. Oh, there's the liquid metal cooling. Wow. Okay. Well, let's make him think that I've got that that he's okay with the isoconceptor uh, under his brain maggot. I can get that back later. I don't want him to disrupt my hand and take the liquid metal cooling in case I left it in there. Okay, but next turn I can actually kill the brain, brain maggot with the destructive revelry, get the isochron back, and put something like Telgelat Justice under it or Smash to Smithereens. Alright, that's fine. Mutavolt. Swing for three. Alright, I can take it for a short time. Okay, so Rootbound Craig is nice. Okay, so what do I do here? Hmm. Let's go and pay red green for destructive revelry. Okay, targeting his brain maggot. Okay, I get my isochron back. And um, I think that's all I can do. All right, so. All right, then he's probably going to play his Mutavault again. Okay, so what's he got? Some hand disruption? No, something big? Unless it's got a, an ETB trigger, I don't really care. Okay, so what is it? Thought Not Seer? Something like that? Vampire Nighthawk. All right. Okay, well, we will make your Nighthawk into an artifact. And I will tap and tap for, let's see, what do I get? Which one do I do? Yeah, I think I'm going to scry. It sucks that I'd like to put the scrying on Isochron. Okay, but I think I'd like to scry right now for my third land. Or for my fourth land. Okay, so, okay, well, let's go forest on the bottom, wooded foothills on the top. All right, that way I can crack it, get something like a cinder glade out or something, maybe in just a basic and play splinter, destroy all his lands. Okay. Um, okay, well, that's it then really. Or I can actually put out an isochron with smash to smithereens on it and then just every turn start pounding him. All right, I just think it'd be awesome to like destroy all his swamps. Okay, so opponent's got something coming out. Okay, something four mana. No. Gray merchant. Okay. All right, drain me for two. Okay, no big deal. Wooded foothills, crack it. Okay, so cinder glade. So unless you control two more basics. Okay, I don't have two or more basics. Let's just grab a mountain. Okay, so we will go tap. Actually, undo. Cancel. We will tap, tap for Isochron Scepter. And, okay, we will put Smash to Smithereens on it. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we will make Grey Merchant into an artifact. Tap Isochron, paying two. Blow up his Grey Merchant. Okay. Go. And go. Okay, so anything he puts out, I can basically just pound it. So, okay, so six mana something. All right, ever after. Okay, two creatures coming back. All right. Grey Merchant and Nighthawk, all right. Well, that's okay still too. Now, slowly he's uh, wrecking me here, but um, let's go tap. I don't like that Grey Merchant, that's a pain. So let's tap him. 
And then he's already got tons of land, so let's actually just splinter the Grey Merchant. Okay, and basically get rid of all his Grey Merchants. So one, he's got Panharmonicon, Necrotal. What's Necrotal there? Non, not artifact, non black creature. That basically doesn't do anything. All right. Um, okay. All right, and go. So he'll be able to hit me for two next turn. But then I'll just uh, destroy his Nighthawk after this. And then slowly I'll just start wrecking him, wrecking him like one thing at a time. I still, I still think I have the upper hand here. Okay, so he can play the Necrotal, but you know that's not really going to do much. And I'll just hold back my Horde Smelter Dragon. Okay, so yeah, Mutavault. Okay. Okay, hit me for four. All right. All right, now I'm in trouble. All right, so Panharmonicon. All right. Hmm. Let's see. It's too bad I can't tap more than one thing. But, okay, let's do uh, tap, like the metal coating, on his Vampire Nighthawk. We will play Smash to Smithereens, paying two. Okay, on his Smash to Smithereens, pay two, and blow up his Panharmonicon. Okay, now he'll be able to get me next turn with a uh, Mutavault. Okay, so we'll see what happens here. Necrotal, okay. Okay, so there's Mutavault coming in for two. He's going to swing for two, yep. Hmm, do I have a way out of this? Depends, I guess. Oh, liquid metal coating is pretty good. So, look at metal coating. I'll tap. Um, well, let's actually tap Mutavault. And we will blow that up. Okay, get rid of that land. <clears throat> he can swing with the creature all he wants. Take me down to one, and we'll see what happens here. I might be able to drop the land shaper next turn and use that at least as a blocker. Okay, so what's he got? This is actually a much more challenging match than the first match, but then my opponent was totally land screwed there. Alright, so... Okay, so opponent is thinking. Wants to cast something. Three mana, okay. Whip of Erebos. That's an artifact already. All right. Creatures you control have lifelink. That's okay. Eventually I'll wear you down. Down to one. All right. <laughs> All right. Mountain. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let's go liquid metal coating on your creature. Okay, so we'll tap, pay two, smash to smithereens, okay, and pay three for mirror land shaper. All right, at least we get like a little bit of a blocker out there. Okay, so down to one life. My opponent's still got tons of life, but I do have two liquid metal coatings. So I could actually just destroy his ghost quarter and or in one of his swamps or just two of his swamps and take him off of colored mana. So seems like that's a good idea. Okay, if he puts a creature out, I'll just destroy that creature. All right. Um, does he have a creature? See, if he only puts one creature out, then that creature is just dead. Right? But if he puts out two creatures, then I have to draw something good here. From the battlefield, except against haste. All right, that's fine. Still can't. Oh, he's got a first striker. All right, that's fine. I can still chump block it. 
Uh, all right. We'll just block. Okay, first. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. So exiled. All right, he can get the Nighthawk back. Buried Ruin. Not what I wanted. Oh, but... But... Actually... Um, ooh, he's got three cards in hand. That's a tough one. Um, so I think he's going to try and get his Nighthawk back. If he does, then... Okay... So if he gets his Nighthawk back, Vampire Nighthawk's got Death Touch. He'll just kill my Horde Smelter Dragon anyways. Um, let's actually just try and blow up uh, the whip. Oh, I can't do that. Cancel. Okay, so let's go tap. Destroy his whip. Okay, so tap, tap. Smash the smithereens. Okay, and go. Does he have anything good? Okay, so what does he have? Something? Well, he's obviously got something. Okay, so is he going to cast anything? If he doesn't, I'll blow up his swamp next. So this mono black devotion deck. Ravenous rats. Okay, discard a card. All right, that's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, I think I'm actually okay still, because especially without Great Merchant, uh, Forest doesn't really do it for me. Hmm. All right. Well, liquid metal coating on his ravenous rats. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Okay. Smash the smithereens. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, and... Oh, are you kidding me? I'm short one? Six? Oh, I just miscounted. Ah, oh, alright. That's too bad. Okay. Here we go. I just want to check, make sure I didn't have a... What's that? Ancient, uh... Oh, what's it called? The Ancient Grudge. That could have been recurring. So, okay. So, opponent's casting something. Panharmonicon again. All right. I'll just blow that up. Isochron's not really a help. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I got a. I think I have to blow that up. Unfortunately. Okay. So I'll just blow up the Panharmonicon. Okay. Now, if I can draw another. If I draw another artifact destruction, then I'll really, really take off. Two isochrons with two liquid metal coatings. Um, basically, my opponent has a really, is going to have a really tough time getting rid of anything, unless he's got something that has an ETB trigger, you know, that can get rid of this or do one damage to me. Okay, so anything he casts, I'll just destroy if it's just a one thing. So, Faceless Butcher. Okay, exile target creature. Okay, so he's just putting out all his creatures? One at a time? Alright, well, that's fine. Ah, just seems like this double isochron right, is not that good for me. Alright, so tap, pay two. Every time I'm also doing three damage to my opponent as well. Okay. Double Isochron like this is just not cool, but what can you do? All right, so my opponent, do you have anything? Live fast, you draw two cards, gain, lose two life, gain some energy. Okay. Does he have something? <laughs> oh. No. Ancient Grudge, that is exactly what I need. Oh, are you kidding me? And he scooped. Oh, well, I think I was going to win that one anyways, but anyways, GG to my opponent. Um, that's sometimes how it goes. Like, you know, like once you get the lock on, it's just really hard for your opponent to play anything. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.